Okay, in this video, what I'd like to go over is a, a modification I've done in my pack, and I'd like to tell you one, where I got it from, and two, why I did this. Uh, I've been a strong, per se, advocate of the penny stoves and uh, alcohol, heat, and Dollar Tree items uh, after several outings. I really found it to be a little cumbersome. You know, I had done the uh, sterno stove with the pre ignition trays or the penny stoves and the rods to adjust my heat level to, per se, achieve a simmer or a cook. And uh, really, uh, it was a good idea in theory, but after practicing it, it, it really was kind of a pain. Uh, I had looked a lot into the container fuels and people given a lot of input on the cheap stoves, the cheap, let's just call them propane stoves. And uh, what I did is I found this on eBay from an American seller and it cost me seven dollars and forty nine cents to get to my front door and all it is and you've, I'm sure all, everybody has seen it before you just open it up spin it around pull out your tabs and then a can of gas you screw it up. I mean, how easy can this get? Just spin it on, set it down at your campsite, turn it on, and light it. How easy can this get? Oh my god, this is an epic fail. Oh, actually it's still lit. I'm sorry. I'm going to turn it up next time. But this versus the setup time of this is crazy short. This sets up much faster than this. This actually weighs no more and actually weighs less than all this apparatus. And the greatest thing is you can control the heat. I mean, if you want to turn it up, turn it up. If you need to simmer, just turn it down. You can't do that with an alcohol stove. Both of these, you can argue that you're limited on your fuel. I argue that any time with either fuel, what you're achieving is being stealthy. And this fuel will actually heat products faster. I've tried it. I've done it. It works much faster. Ounce per ounce. This is going to give you a better deal. Uh, so if you're bugging out and you don't want people to see you as far as lighting a, a real fire where you're going to have smoke, uh, a lot of uh, light where they can hunt you down. Uh, this is not necessarily better than this. Both of these work to cover that. Low light, no smoke, no odor, uh, but this cooks faster per ounce. It's faster to set up. It's actually lighter to carry and it you know, a U.S. seller, they can get it to you in three days for $7.49. Are you kidding me? Why pack out all this crap when you could actually pack out probably one can of this? I pack two, but that's just me. And I can heat about the same with that, with no excuse the southern term, but dicking around. There is no dicking around here. You screw it on, you open the valve.
and you've got instant heat. For this, I would have to set up, fill these, prime the trays. I've got all this mass that I'm toting around. You know, I don't see it. And that's why I'm going to have to discard these items and go with this for $7.49. Canisters in my area are $4.95. Of course, the fuel is much greater than heat at about a dollar and a half or at the Dollar Tree, a dollar. But, you know, convenience, you know, it has to weigh in. It just has to weigh in. So this is really not a review on this because it does exactly what it's supposed to do. It really does. Uh, I'm just trying to say why I'm getting away from this and going to this is because it's simpler, it's faster. Uh, to be honest, it's, it's more of a guaranteed heat source. And uh, it packs up. May, might take up a little more room over the other four items in my bag, but I got plenty extra room in my bag for everything. So, you know, as far as everything fitting, a U.S. seller, three days come straight to you and that's all you got to worry about and you can do you know I boast mine is a 72 plus hour bag you could eat four meals a day and everything would be good I haven't weighed the difference I'm not really concerned about the difference in weight I'm sure this is less than all of this you may say something about a windscreen, but I have a windscreen. So, you know, I'm just saying why I'm going with it. It's, it's a lot less complicated, a lot less setup time. It's more secure and possibly in the South Hall deciding to leak out of a container. Of course, there's better containers than that. But and it's not what everybody needs. I'm not trying to say this is what you have to have. But think about it, look at it, but for seven forty nine and a couple of cans of fuel, it's not bad. It's pretty cool. And that's what my bag's gonna revolve into. And uh my next video will show a lot about how my bag has evolved and a lot of things I've dropped from it, especially food because food was my heaviest uh, item. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a good night.